Now it's time for a foundation for the finished makeup for the 20-something. Now for a finished look, I'm going to be using a product that has a little bit of a priming action to it. It's called Photo Finish by Smashbox. I'm going to take a little bit of this product and I'm going to uh, blend it gently over the center of her face. What this is going to do is it's going to keep the foundation on much longer. And it's also going to provide a little bit more of a smoother palette. Uh, regardless of how young you are, you always want your foundation to look as imperceptible as possible, and so that's why we use the photo finish to start with. Next, we're going to be using, uh, from Urban Decay, it's, uh, would you say this is a sheer or medium coverage foundation? Medium. So this is a nice medium coverage, which is what we want for a more finished look. I'm going to take a little bit of the foundation, starting from the center of the face. Notice our application is a little bit more liberal, and we're going to blend this from the center of the face outward. So for Jenna, you know, she, ha she has a very fun lifestyle, but when she works, she needs to look somewhat professional. And so what we're doing with her is giving her a little more buttoned up look for her finished look. So starting with her skin, her skin is going to look a little bit more polished, a little less transparent. And this way, you know, often when you're young, what I hear is that people uh, don't get taken as seriously. So, you know, the more buttoned up you look, the more professional you look, uh, with your makeup, often it may sway, it may make the difference between the way people receive you. Uh, and that's what, what professional makeup can really uh, uh, provide for you. Now also with this look, you definitely want to set with a little bit of powder, okay, uh, because you want this to last all day. So what I'm going to suggest for Jenna is that she have a compact powder so she can set with this, but also so she can touch up during the day. Because the thing about being busy and working is you know, no matter how well the foundation goes on, it's going to start to fade. It's gonna, your skin's gonna drink a little bit. So by applying the powder, you're sort of assuring yourself you're gonna get a nice eight hour coverage. And here's an example of perfect finished foundation. When we come back, finished look eyes for the 20 something. Your access to Makeup Gourmet begins here. After this episode, log on to MakeupGourmet.com, where you'll find tips and information to feel and look your very best. All of that and more at MakeupGourmet.com. And now the finished look for the 20-something eye. Always start with a little bit of primer on your eyelid to make sure that shadow stays on. Close, please. Use a nice synthetic brush, brush that over your eye just to get it nice and smooth, get it ready for all the shadow you're about to put on. All right, so for the finished look for Jenna, I'm going to be using a, uh, a deeper, more natural looking brow color. So I'm going to be using a powder applicator, uh, powder uh, product with a angled brush to put on her eyebrow. And I'm starting deep in the inner corner and then taking it up high on the arch of the eye and then fluffing that up so the brow looks nice and full. Now with her natural brow she has a little bit more of, of a stylized trendy slightly thin brow but we're going to fill that up a little bit to give it a little bit more of a conservative somewhat more standard looking brow. That looks beautiful. Next we're going to use uh, four different eyeshadows and we're going to start with the lightest shade and we're just going to pat this right up under her eye and that's going to go on nice and smooth. And then along the ball of the eye, we're going to pick up this gorgeous peach shade. And we're just going to wash that across her lid. And then to provide a little bit of contrast, we're going to take the brown shade. And we're going to put this right in her crease. Starting from the outer corner, we're going to brush this color in. Always brushing in. And then also down on the corner of her eye this way. Brushing back and forth. Pushing that color in. Take the excess off the brush and then work to blend it into the center of the eye. A nice back and forth motion to, to create that nice smoky look to the eye. Open please. Very pro oh, That looks pretty. <laughs> nice pretty look. A little bit more, okay? Because of her hair color, I think we can go a little bit deeper. But that really opened up her eye really nice. I really like that. So I'm going to put on a little bit more, just get a little bit higher intensity. I'm using more of a bullet shaped brush. This brush has a nice little tip so it hugs itself. It gets right in there. There's a little bit of a green in this collection. If you want, you can pat a little bit of green right in the center of the eye just to pick up some of the colors that she is wearing in her necklace. Uh, next, I'm going to use um, sort of a fun liner. Close, please. Uh, it's called Bourbon, and I'm going to just wedge that right between her lashes. Why I like it is it's not too dark. Uh, it's still a neutral shade, though. It's a brown, but it's got a little bit of a kick to it. 
I mean, it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. I'm going to work that between her lash bed. I'm going to thicken on the outer corner. Open, please. And that looks gorgeous. Look at how that works with her eye color. Look up, please. Now, for this look, for daytime, to really show off the almond shape of your eye, take that pencil and go right between your lashes all the way across. Perfect. Just like that. Last but not least, I'm going to use uh, a slightly uh, heavier concealer than I used before. Uh, this is from Makeup Forever. I want to give her a little bit more of a long-lasting coverage. When the colors are stronger on the eye, you definitely want a higher contrast concealer so that things look nice and smooth. So remember, with this brush, you can clean up that eye line. Make sure you take away that shadow that naturally is created by the bridge of the nose by putting the concealer on the inner corner of the nose here and then brush it outward and downward just like that. And that gives a nice, clean, open look to the eye. Brush that down into the foundation so it's seamless. We don't see where the concealer ends and the foundation begins. Let's finish with a little bit of mascara. And I think a slightly fuller lash this time with the mascara. Look down towards the floor, please. We're going to brush from the, from the outside in. We're going to pull those outer lashes out a little bit and brush up. This is where, with the 20-something, you want to play up your lashes. Even with more of a slightly conservative look, Stronger lashes really look gorgeous. Look up, please. Wow, gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So let's start with Jenna's brow. And like I was saying before, we want to make sure that her brow has a little bit more of a conservative look. You know, the trendy look uh, for the 20-somethings these days is a little bit more of sort of a cleaned up, thin brow, uh, which is fine. You know, just don't over-tweeze because eventually the hair stop growing back. But we're going to fill in a little bit and we're going to fluff that brow up a little bit so it looks slightly fuller. It gives a little bit more of a sumptuous look to the brow. And in a professional world, it just, it, what it says is that, uh, you know, you have a nice clean look to your eye. Next, we're going to do eyeshadows and doing a nice set of four shades. And these four shades are uh, well balanced. And you notice with these shades next to her that nothing's really darker or lighter than her hair color and her eye color. We're really working within her color range. And that's what you want to do when you're using color for a professional look. Close, please. So I'm going to take this light shade. I'm just going to gently slide it right up under her brow bone. And then on the ball of her eye, I'm going to be using this peach color just to brighten up. These colors are so pretty on you. Now you'll notice that all the colors I'm using do have just a little bit of a shimmer to them, which is fine. Now I'm going to take the darker brown, close please. Starting from the outer corner, I'm going to wedge from the outer corner in and also from the outer corner down. This is a very important part of doing eyeshadow. Pull that color down into the eye. What it does is it cups the corner of the eye. And by cupping the eye, you really capture the shape of the eye. If you just stick color up here in the crease, often it's distracting. When you connect it down to the lash bed here, it looks like it's part of your anatomy. And that's what you want makeup to become, part of your anatomy. Not some appendage hanging there, but really, you know, it's, it's, your, it's your own natural coloring being enhanced. And open, please. Very, very pretty. Let's take a little bit of the green, close please, and pop a little bit of green right over the center of the eye just to pick up the colors in her necklace. And that's always a nice way to sort of accessorize your makeup with what you're wearing. Now, for eyeliner, I'm going to be using a, a pencil called Bourbon. Close please. And I want you to take that pencil, make sure you have a nice perpendicular approach with the pencil, and I want you to work that pencil right between the lashes, trying to make those lashes look as thick as possible. And how you do that is get that color in between the lashes best as best as you possibly can. Now we're going to wedge the outer corner of the eye just a little bit to thicken the outer corner of the eye and really draw focus to the outer shape of the eye. Open, please. Gorgeous. And look up. For a nice professional look, you, you really want just a little bit of liner underneath as well. What that does, it shows off that almond shape of your eye. It really captures the, the almond shape of the eye, which is what you want to do. Uh, next, we're going to do just a little bit of concealer. And with this look, we are using a slightly higher coverage concealer because it's a more professional look. And it has to be worn probably for a longer period of time, say at least eight hours. So we're taking this uh, concealer. It's got a little more coverage. It's by Makeup Forever. I'm actually using a pan of colors. I'm, for Jenna, I'm mixing between my two shades. You know, never be afraid to mix. Just like when you're in the kitchen, don't be afraid to, you know, mix mm -hmm. up your little spices to get the exact effect you want. Pull that concealer down over the cheekbone so it's seamless, okay? It's a little bit brighter on her eye, so it throws a lot of light right up into her eye, which is exactly what you want. 
And now, of course, mascara. Look down towards the floor, please. And then with the wand, I want you to grab those gorgeous lashes of hers and pull them sideways out. Build up those lashes as best you can. And don't forget the inner lashes, but the outer lashes get more attention. So your inner lashes will be jealous. And that looks perfect, I think. I love it. All right, so this is a perfect example of finished eyes for the 20-something. And next we're gonna do the 20-something finished lips. So this is very important. We want to balance the coloring in her face. Now it's very easy to grab a gloss. It looks really pretty. We put it on her lips and it looks fine, but the look becomes trendy. And I hate to say it, it almost becomes looking dated because it's such an obvious choice. A little bit heavier on the eye, a little bit glossier on the lips. The challenge is to really have sort of a sophisticated finish to your finished makeup, your finished professional makeup. So pick a lip pencil that's a little bit deeper than your actual lip color and take time to what I would say hyper define the lip. Really give that lip some good definition and make that line thicker on the outer portion of the lip. That's why it looks a little bit darker. So the center of the lip is going to appear lighter and it's gonna pop, it's gonna come more forward. We have an exciting lip color here. It's called Narsica, Marsica. But more than this lipstick color being exciting, you should know that this lip container is biodegradable. What you can do is after you're done with your lipstick, you can drop this into the ground. It will biodegrade and in it are wild flower seeds and it will actually grow wild flowers. I just learned that myself, so I'm very excited. Uh, who makes this, do you know? Cargo. This is made by Cargo, so that's very exciting. In a world where, you know, a lot of landfill is just, you know, getting in our way, this is, um, this is a great way to sort of spruce up your garden and spruce up your lips all at the same time. So even though this color doesn't have a high intensity, because I really, you know, laid that liner on pretty th thick, we get a really great look to her lips, and you see the intensity between here and here is almost exactly the same. So she has a very balanced look. So here's a great example of finished 20-something lips. Last but not least, cheeks. Remember, I always like to do cheeks last. Otherwise, you end up putting on too much cheek color to give you some, some color on your face. By the time you do your eyes and lips, you figure you've done too much on your cheeks. I'm just gonna use one color for this finished look. It's, a very, it's almost like a mauve tone, and I'm gonna run the entire length of her cheekbone, okay? Back and forth, back and forth, and I'm just gonna do this until the bone just starts to show up away from her face with a little bit more depth of color. Turn slightly towards me, please. Same thing on this side. Let that brush just dance up and down, up and down, nice and smooth, and I will cup it gently up into the temple area just to sort of frame and wrap the eyes. This way, cheek is framed, but we're not distracted by her cheeks. You look fantastic. And there you have it. This is the perfect example of a finished look for the 20-something. If you're watching this at MakeupGourmet.com, I've listed my current favorite products to achieve this look. Click on one and try it. If you're not at MakeupGourmet.com, go there now to see my favorite product picks for this look, as well as everything else we have to offer. How to apply, what to buy. MakeupGourmet.com